Most analysts expect then oil prices to remain above $80 a barrel, $87 on Brent right now. Saudi Arabia, a longtime U.S. ally, has taken a step closer to joining a security bloc. For Saudi Arabia, they believe that their economic future lies in the East. China. That many say wants to challenge NATO and other Western-led institutions. U.S. Saudi Arabia oil pact falls apart as Russia reigns supreme. In a world driven by oil, alliances can make or break a country's economy. And when two superpowers come together to control the world's oil supply, the stakes couldn't be higher. For years, the United States and Saudi Arabia have dominated the oil market. But now, their once powerful alliance has crumbled. As the U.S.-Saudi oil pact falls apart, a new player has emerged to take control of the global oil trade. Russia, with its vast reserves and strategic partnerships with other major oil-producing countries, Russia is now the reigning power in the world of oil. But what does this mean for the average American? Will we see gas prices skyrocket? Will our economy suffer? Join us as we explore the fallout from the U.S. Saudi oil pact and the rise of Russia in the global oil trade. Welcome to Economic Echoes, the channel that brings you the latest news and analysis on the most pressing economic, geopolitical, and financial issues of our time. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest trends and developments in these areas, then you've come to the right place. But before we dive into today's video, we want to take a moment to invite you to join our community of engaged and informed viewers. By hitting that like button, subscribe and turn on notification bell button. By this, you'll never miss content as we dive into the most pressing issues of our time. So buckle up and let's dive in. Just three years ago, when OPEC plus oil giants fell out, the US found itself playing the role of peacemaker. Now it looks more like their target the Saudi-Russia oil alliance has the potential to cause all kinds of trouble for the U.S. economy and even for President Joe Biden's re-election campaign. The OPEC Plus decision to cut crude output for the second time since Biden flew to Saudi Arabia last summer, seeking an increase may be just the start. What this means for oil prices over the coming years and what the potential consequences are for the U.S. economy. The April 2nd announcement by OPEC Plus has lifted oil prices by about $5 a barrel, and OPEC's own projections show that the cuts will widen the supply shortfall later this year. That means inflation will be higher and recession risks are bigger than they otherwise would have been because consumers spending more on energy will have less cash left for other stuff. Russian President Vladimir Putin, meanwhile, gets a bigger war chest to fund his attack on Ukraine. But more significant is what the OPEC Plus move says about the likely path of oil prices over the coming years. In a world of shifting geopolitical alliances, Saudi Arabia is breaking away from Washington's orbit. The Saudis set oil production levels in coordination with Russia. When they wanted to ease tensions with regional rival Iran, they turned to China to broker a deal with the US left out of the loop. Western influence over the oil cartel, in other words, is at its lowest point in decades. And the OPEC Plus members all have priorities of their own, from Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's ambitious plans to reinvent his economy, to Putin's war. Any extra revenue they get from charging more for oil is a help. The US has expressed its concerns that OPEC Plus has twice elected to cut production since President Biden's visit to Saudi Arabia. A State Department spokesperson said the administration is focused on holding down domestic energy prices and ensuring U.S. energy security. The U.S. views production cuts as inadvisable given ongoing market volatility, but will wait to see what actions OPEC Plus ultimately takes. Meanwhile, the threat of competition from U.S. shale fields, a deterrent to price hikes in the past, has receded. And while there's a global effort to reduce fossil fuel use and higher prices will accelerate that effort, the dash to drill in the last year shows that the zero carbon economy remains more long-term aspiration than short-term driver. Add all of this up, and while some analysts say demand hurdles mean the recent bump in prices could prove fleeting, 
Most anticipate prices above $80 a barrel over the coming years well above the $58 a barrel average price between 2015 and 2021. It's been a volatile 18 months or so on crude markets, with three main phases. In the run-up to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, prices soared, hitting around $120 a barrel in June 2022. Then the trend went into reverse. Concerns about a recession in Europe, rapidly rising interest rates in the US, and China's COVID restrictions combined to push the price down to around $75 in December. Demand started to pick up at the beginning of 2023, largely due to reopening in China, the world's largest importer. Last month's banking turmoil halted the rally, but it had resumed even before the surprise OPEC Plus output cut, which lifted prices to $85 a barrel from $80. For the global economy writ large, lower oil supply and higher prices is bad news. The major exporters are the big winners, of course for importers, like most. So, what does all of this mean for the future of the U.S. economy and global energy markets? In short, it means that the U.S. is no longer the dominant player in the global oil market. The rise of the Saudi-Russia oil alliance and the diminishing influence of Western countries in OPEC Plus mean that oil prices are likely to stay high or even rise further in the coming years. This is bad news for U.S. consumers, who will see higher energy prices and less money to spend on other things. It's also bad news for President Biden's re-election campaign, as higher energy prices and inflation could hurt his approval ratings. On the other hand, higher oil prices are good news for U.S. producers who will benefit from the increased revenue. However, this benefit is not widely shared and will not necessarily translate into economic growth. The geopolitical frictions between the US and Saudi Arabia also have implications for the future of the global energy market. The US-Saudi oil for security pact is no longer what it once was, and the rise of the Saudi-Russia oil alliance could undermine US influence in the Middle East and beyond. Finally, the maturing of shale and the Saudi spending splurge both point to a future where oil prices are likely to stay high or even rise further. This is bad news for the global economy, as it means higher inflation and less money to spend on other things. The US-Saudi Arabia oil pact has fallen apart, and the rise of the Saudi-Russia oil alliance means that the US is no longer the dominant player in the global oil market. Oil prices are likely to stay high or even rise further in the coming years, which is bad news for US consumers and could hurt President Biden's re-election campaign. The geopolitical frictions between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia also have implications for the future of the global energy market, and the maturing of shale and the Saudi spending splurge both point to a future where oil prices are likely to stay high or even rise further. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any new content that we produce. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Your likes help our video to rank higher in the YouTube algorithm, which means that more people will be able to find and benefit from our content. Thank you again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the comment section and the future videos.